Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, the Carnell Tate saga takes another turn. Guys, if you don't know, Carnell Tate, the superstar receiver in the class of 2023, has officially come out and said he is announcing tomorrow at 1 o'clock. But guys, we've got a Tennessee fan trying to convince Carnell to go to Tennessee. Right now, he's got a final two of Ohio State and Tennessee, and everyone expects him to choose Ohio State, but maybe not anymore. I don't know if Carnell Tate has, has seen this uh, little love letter from a Tennessee fan, some 30-year-old dude on Twitter. You can see the account Message Board Geniuses says, Tennessee fan is doing his part to help with recruiting, and it's some 30-year-old dude, uh, you know, t you know, putting a, a a little love letter in his notes app and sending it to Carnell Tw Tate via Twitter. Now this is just unbelievable. We're gonna read this and see if maybe it'll convince Carnell to choose Tennessee. Of course, guys. We all expect uh, Carnell Tate to choose Ohio State tomorrow at 1 o'clock. He's already filmed his announcement video. He's just got to make it public. That will be done tomorrow afternoon on Monday. But hold the presses. He might have to refilm it after reading this. We've Here it is, the love letter to Carnell Tate from some 30-year-old random Tennessee fan. It doesn't get much more cringy than this. It says, Dear Carnell Tate, Please come to Tennessee. We are the best fans that ever was in college football, and we have passion for days, and we eat well, too. Ha ha. The girls are much prettier, but in a way, the fans will love you like a girl would. I'm not sure what he means there. We would adore you. Give us a chance. Shock the world and hashtag come to the Rocky Top. We need one more receive to send us over the top and get all of the country he up. Please, we need ya. Go Vols. And if you need a what edit after you commit, I got you, brother. Just tell me your fave color and fave foods, and we can be best friends forever. Love. Dustin, and he capitalizes the D-U-T in the, his name. I don't know why. One of the cringiest things I've seen, Tennessee fans are absolutely out of control. The way they've acted during this recruitment of Carnell Tate is nothing short of d -ska sting And this is just another example of it. You shouldn't be doing this. You're a 30-year-old grown man, and you're adding a, recru a recruit on Twitter begging him to join your program. There's passion. We get it. You want to get all the five stars. But uh, yeah, guys, the, the Tennessee fans, it's getting absurd. I never hated Tennessee. I came out with a video a few weeks ago and said Tennessee was getting desperate and they basically carpet bombed the comment section. They were like, oh, you're delusional. Carnell Tate's going to Tennessee. I said, guys, I'm just being honest. Brian Hartline gets who he wants and I think Tennessee is actually redistributing their funds because the only reason Tennessee was even involved with five-star superstar receiver Carnell Tate was because they offered him a seven-figure NIL deal just like they did with the five-star quarterback that they got to commit from the state of California. So guys, overall, Carnell Tate, big announcement tomorrow, one o'clock. Ohio State is expected to be the choice. This is a superstar, five-star receiver, and Ohio State currently has Brandon Anis on a visit right now, a multi-day visit. He's another five-star receiver, and then the whole Noah Rogers situation, the other superstar, high four-star receiver, top 50 player in the nation. He is expected to make a trip to Columbus next week. There's been a lot of stuff going on with him. It was a crazy Friday. You know, people were expecting him to come to Columbus. He stayed at NC State, and there's been some talk that NC State is going to get him that recruitment is still developing. We'll see if he makes his visit to Columbus. But yeah, guys, Tennessee fans, I mean, you got to stop, guys. It, it's, it, it's sad the way they've conducted themselves during this recruitment. 
has been nothing short of completely disappointing and and just no way this is no way to handle yourself if you're a 30 year old male or 27 or however old this dude you can't be tweeting at 17 18 year old recruits writing them little love letters it's just inexcusable uh you know we understand you have passion for recruiting a lot of us do we love it uh, but at the end of the day, and it's like, I don't even hate Tennessee fans. These people are just completely unhinged. They have mental health issues. They need help. And when it comes to Carnell Tate, they're all getting pissed because they realize he is indeed going to Ohio State when he am- announces tomorrow at 1 o'clock. That'll be Monday, June 20th at 1 o'clock. Ohio State expected to pick up its first five-star and maybe the other five-star who's currently on a visit, Brandon Innes could be announcing around that time as well. They're very good friends. And then Noah Rogers, the whole dynamic there is we'll see if Noah Rogers visits after Carnell Tate announces for Ohio State. He may not want to be the number three receiver on a class, which is completely understandable. It's completely understandable. But the current, I mean, this is just, it's almost like, I don't know how many spelling are. And the thing is, guys, this is not a troll account. This dude, I trust me, I looked it up to make sure this wasn't someone trolling Tennessee and trying to make their fans look good. This was his legit account, and he was personally trying to defend himself when he got called out for making this little love letter to, to Carnell Tate. Uh, and it, <laughs> Carnell, Tate, Carnell Tate's going to have to refilm his commitment video because this love letter is going to swing him to commit to Tennessee. Um, what an absolute hunk of trash. This uh, is just a jumbled. This dude is, you don't want to call him illiterate, but my God, you want to proofread what you write here? Um, goodness, guys. But um. Guys, we've got major visits happening right now in college football. There's going to be huge updates coming this weekend, next weekend, probably the two most busiest weekend weekends in college football in terms of overall visits. And there's going to be a lot of rumors, a lot of things coming out about these guys. We've got Alabama hosting a number of superstar prospects. We know Peter Woods is committing in early J- uh, July. They're expected to land him. We've got the whole Arch Manning situation with him currently visiting Texas this weekend. And he has a top two of Texas and Georgia. And just quickly to touch on the whole Arch Manning thing, a lot of people ask... And they say, would Arch Manning be the number one overall player in the nation, ranked a perfect 1,000, if he didn't have his bloodline? And my answer to that question is no, he would not be, in in my personal opinion. That doesn't mean he wouldn't be a five-star prospect, because I still think he would. But... To me, the only reason, I mean, this this is a guy from Louisiana. He plays really bad competition in Louisiana. Many of these recruiting services, they see his talent, they see his overall game, and they also factor in Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, the lineage, the bloodline, Archie Manning, you know, and the success they've had in the NFL. And I think, I'm not saying he's overrated, but I would be shocked if that kid was not a Manning if he was rated a perfect 1,000. Not saying he's not a five-star, because I think he's a five-star prospect, but the number one prospect in the the nation being ranked perfect 1,000 with the level of competition he currently plays, you know, with his high school in Louisiana, I think his rating is a little boosted by the fact that he is a Manning. Is Malachi Nelson better than him? I don't know. Is Dante Moore better than him? I don't know. Uh, But there's some other guys, some other quarterbacks that are extremely talented. I think there's four top 10 quarterbacks right now in the class of 2023. And Dante Moore, guys, his recruitment, it's total NIL. It's crazy. He's a superstar, five-star quarterback from Michigan. And he might end up at Oregon, maybe Texas A&M. You know, there's some teams still looking to get on him. Obviously, Michigan's still on on him. Notre Dame, it looks like they're tampering off after they were leading for him. And then you've got some other recruitments. But Arch Manning, it's looking like a top two of Texas and Georgia. He also visited Alabama, but they already took a... Uh, a, fi- a four-star quarterback commit. So it would be kind of surprising if Alabama took a four-star and then got Arch Manning as well. I'm sure they would take him, but uh, just kind of a weird thing there. So it's looking like it's either going to be Georgia or, or Texas for Arch. And we will continue to follow these major developments. But guys, the main story 
Tennessee fans, it's disgusting. It's just embarrassing, that story. You can't be writing, you know, young kids love letters like this to come to your school. It's, an, you know, I'm obviously I'm joking about it being a love letter, but still, I mean, come on, man. You're writing a notes app letter with about 20 things spelled wrong, and then you're adding Carnell Tate on Twitter after he already filmed his commitment video. The choice has already been made. He's coming to Ohio State. The choice is made, Tennessee fans. You got to accept it and move on. There's some other prospects you can get, I'm sure. You've got the NIL fund going. You know, reallocate your assets. Go after the pass rusher Bradley like I think they're going to do. Uh, that's what they should do. But guys, the major story, Carnell Tate, the superstar, he's committing tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Could Brandon Innes also commit? It'll be very interesting. You know, they're very good friends. And this is on a visit right now. We will see. It, and this is a situation that will be monitored for sure. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.